By the way, you can also see what I call Paradise Point. Very beautiful rocky area on the way to Goat Rock. And speaking of which, right in the center of the screen, we're looking at Goat Rock. Correction, there is the tip of Mount Wilson and here is that smooth rock in the center is Bridge Mountain. And by the way, down there in that canyon you can see Rocky Gap Road. Mission successful. We are at the top of the Keystone Thrust. And looking around, here you see Griffith Peak. And Mummy Mountain would be off to the, um, to the right. And Mount Charleston would be pretty much straight ahead in that area, but that's not Mount Charleston. I think it's hidden. And here you can see Kyle Canyon. And here's the Keystone Thrust. And here's the top of the Keystone Thrust. There's the La Madre Mountain area. And that, um, that hill there, or the one to the right, may be La Madre Mountain. I'm not sure, but it looks as if I can go along the top of this and potentially hit La Madre Mountain. Gas Peak would be down in that area, and I bet I could see it from this next hill. And looking this way, Turtlehead Peak, and to the right, the Las Vegas Strip in the haze. We've got the Calico Hills of Red Rock Park down here. And Red Rock Park Canyon, you can see maybe some glint of the cars. Diamond Mountain, right in the center there. White Rock, or White Mountain, right there. There's the tip of Mount Wilson. Here we have Bridge Mountain, the smooth mountain you can see right in the center. And then Rocky Gap Road. That area I call Paradise Point right up here. And then just to the right of it is Goat Rock. I hope you can hear with all the wind. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful spot here. Very central spot. And by the way, then we look up over here and guess what? There's the Mount Charleston Observatory. 
And these are all sites you can see from Centennial Hills, which would be just on the other side of this um, outcrop hill. So there you have it. Some beautiful views here. I'm going to stop for the day, turn around, and then come back up with a lot more speed next time. It took about four hours to get here. I think I could do it in about three, which will give me enough time to explore the Keystone Trust and see if one of those hills is actually La Madre Mountain. Okay, signing off. Very successful little climb today. Well, I couldn't resist it. Had to go to the next height. And from here, I'm only um, about, well, I'm at 7,260 7, feet, which is only 740 feet below La Madre Mountain Summit. But here's what we can see from here. There's Griffith Peak. And it would be pretty much in that direction where Mount Charleston is. Um, I think it's hidden though. And then Mummy Mountain is going to be somewhere right in this direction. And that actually that um, rocky cliff in the center of the screen could be Mummy Mountain. And then looking down, you see Kyle Canyon. And then over in this way, oh, I'm not sure if you can see Gas Peak yet. I think that uh, I think that we're, what we're looking at is the Desert National Wildlife Refuge and we're looking at part of the sheep range maybe uh, No, it would be over in this direction You know um, This could be gas peak Not absolutely sure I'd have to get to the next height which I promise you I'm not going to do today. Speaking of the heights, this could be La Madre Mountain. I am not sure, but I believe it's only, well, it's got to be the height of La Madre Mountain. Then looking around this way, we're looking down into Red Rock Canyon, and beyond it is Diamond Hill. And even more visible than before is Mount Wilson. And Bridge Mountain, smooth one there. And, oh, of course, White Mountain. Turtlehead Peak has disappeared behind the other mountains. There's Rocky Gap Road. And right in the center here is Goat Rock. So there you have it. Beautiful, beautiful view up here. But it is time to turn around and head home. The 
good news is that it really looks as if I have a direct route up to the top of La Madre Mountain, or once I'm up there, I'll know where La Madre Mountain is, and it can't be too far from that point in the center of the screen. Um, as I said, only 740 feet below the summit of La Madre Mountain. We're at 7,260 feet right now. So um, that looks like it could be about 740 feet above where I'm standing right now. Okay. Signing off for now.